You have zero connections to get a programming job. What do you do? Hey guys, I'm Antonio, and I wanna help you get a programming job with zero connections. If you want, there's a Google form in the description that will help you get specific advice for you based on your experience and your behavior. There's your skill level and your personality. First, let's go over your skill level. The more senior you are, the easier it will be for you to get connections. I know it sucks, but a lot of you who are junior out there, you're gonna have to spend more time building up your portfolio. The more senior you are, the easier it is for you to get a connection. Why? Because connections are based off of value. If you're a senior developer, you tend to know a lot. And if you know a lot, you can probably provide a lot of value to the person you're trying to connect with. The connection happens easily. But if you're a junior and you provide no value to no one, it's gonna be really hard for you to have a connection based off of your experience because your experience doesn't exist. So as a senior developer, it'll be easier for you to make a connection. You won't have to have an online presence or portfolio projects that you've done in order to make up for that. If you go to a mid developer, then a lot of your experience will matter, but also some of your online projects, your open source repositories, your blog will matter a lot. But if we go to a junior developer, the more you've done online, the more you've done with school projects, the more you've done with open source projects, the more you've done with a blog, the more you've done the open Stack overflow questions, the easier you will have it to make connections because you will have proven yourself and proven your value to other people. So your experience level depends on your value and your value determines how easy it will be for you to get a connection. The goal with the value is to build trust. If you build trust with the other person, a connection happens easily. If you don't have trust, then guess what? You got no connection with nobody. Okay, now the second part, which is your personality. So are you good at talking to people in person or are you good at more structured text style communication over the internet? If you're good at talking to people, I would suggest going to things like meetups and hackathons, places where you can talk to people in person, make a real life connection using body language and voice tone and words. Because if your personality is very good in person, it's way easier for you to make a connection based off of you and who you are rather than you and your developer skills. But if you're someone who just wants to make a connection online, then it's going to have to come down a lot to your experience. You're going to have to be able to answer questions for people. You're going to have to be able to provide your value based off of what you can do for them. And it won't be off of your pleasing personality because anyone can type a text that's nice but not anyone can answer their question to a problem that they might be having or write a blog post about something that's highly technical or contribute to an open source repository. There are a few ways to make connections online if you don't wanna do it in person. You can direct message engineers at companies that you want to work for. You create an online presence like a blog or a YouTube channel like this one where you help other developers solve a certain problem in your niche of development. You can answer Stack Overflow questions or core questions on different tech topics. But again, remember that it's going to be harder to make a connection online than it will be in person because online removes the body language and the voice tone, which is a lot of what communication is all about. Check the Google form as it gives you personal advice based on your situation to help you figure out what you can do in order to make some connections if you have none. Guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.